It's not at all debatable whether or not I'm paranoid. I have cameras in every room and I record everything. Every fucking thing. Um, my family sucks. A lot of gaslighting. Uh, that was going on in my last relationship. <laughs> uh, Ex-boyfriend in general. General safety. And I have cats that are just cute as hell, so, you know. <laughs> uh, but something I struggle with regarding <laughs> that facet of my personality is uh, are people being douches or am I being overly sensitive, which my family has always let me know I'm too sensitive because emotions are weak. Gag me. Or, right? So I have this friend, and uh, he's a pretty good friend. I don't have a lot of people I hang out with here. Uh, most of my friends are whatever. Um, so this was, a, I joke that I want him in the divorce, right? Like, he was friends with my ex, and I broke the rule with him. I thought he was gay. I had a level of comfortability with him that you only get with gay guys. That's the best way I can describe it. Like, just right on and uh but even when I knew he wasn't gay I knew that I was saying like I knew I was not supposed to be you don't talk to the opposite sex about your problems right so I needed my logic was I needed somebody that liked my boyfriend knew my boyfriend loved him you know um uh my he my ex wasn't exactly somebody with the cult of personality. A lot of people might think he was shy or rude and they're wrong. They just... I needed somebody that fucking knew him, right? We had a lot of problems. So, early on, I learned that my... Hmm, I was the chubby chick that really liked him, is how I was referenced. My friend told me this. A long time ago and I've never forgotten of course right and uh, so you know <laughs> we were hanging out I take social isolation or social distancing very seriously so it's rare that I do anything with anybody anyway but we were hanging out recently and he brought up something where I'm just like okay is he why what the fuck but uh He, okay, he, we've had some points of contention before. We've had some spats. We've stopped talking before. And also I'm in a little about some, like sometimes he'll try to say, I mean, he believes that he understands how I feel. Um, my ex doesn't talk to either of us hmm. at all. And uh <laughs> I wanted to grow old with this motherfucker. Uh, I had a baby and I lost a baby with this motherfucker. <laughs> so, no, it's not the same. He doesn't know how I feel. But uh, anyway, and that's not a, a dig at him. None of this is a dig at him. This is me working shit out the only way I can. Publicly. <laughs> that's what happens when you don't have people to talk to. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be somebody else I know. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but... <laughs> uh, fuck. What am I supposed to do? I mean, seriously. So this guy, my friend, he... Uh, I've already wasted four minutes of your time. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> 